Hey there. So I just wrapped up the first week of my no spend challenge and let me tell you, it's been a wild ride. Here are the highlights. And they started off strong with no spending slip ups. It felt like a good omen for the rest of the week. Tuesday, but then Tuesday hit. Biscuit had a vet appointment and my car decided to play dead. Luckily, a friend came by to the rescue and drove, drove us there. And get this, Biscuit's vet visit didn't cost me a dime thanks to the Animal League of Green Valley where they offer free vet care support for life for senior dogs. Shout out to them. On Wednesday, it was basically a breeze. Just your typical day, nothing major to report. Uh, Thursday. So I'm a major procrastinator and that's why I put off fixing my car until now. Finally got around to calling, emailing AAA and it turns out it was just a battery issue. So typical, right? Anyways, got it all sorted out and then swung by Paws Patrol to pick up my newest foster cat, Loki. A big thanks to Paws Patrol for their amazing work. Now let's talk about Friday. Picture this, I open my door and what do I see? A home chef delivery sitting there staring back at me. And then that's when it hit me. I totally forgot to pause that subscription. Learned. So Saturday, Saturday was all about chilling with my fur monsters, Raymond, Kiki, Biscuit, Daisy, and the newest addition, my foster cat, Loki just hung out, played. So for Sunday, we wrapped up the week and I got creative with some ingredients and whipped up a killer spinach salad for breakfast. That's right. Who says you can't have dinner for breakfast? Then I treated Biscuit and Daisy to a long walk at Historic Kanoa Ranch and they absolutely loved it. So there you have it. The highlights from week one of my no spend challenge. If you're vibing with the journey and want more, if you're vibing with the journey and want more updates, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. Let's keep this adventure going together. Bye.